Slack Attack. Boy, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Skyrim. And we have alteration up to 90, the magical number of 90. Now we can do the alteration ritual quest, which will reward us with the dragon hide spell, which will provide us with a lot better armor rating than um, this Nambi Pambi um, ebony flesh plus uh, mage armor perk, etc. Yeah. Like, the best we can muster up right now is 350 armor rating. Using Ebony Flesh. Demonstrational purposes. Casting Ebony Flesh. And there's our army. We could do a lot better. But we have to um, jump through hoops. Let's get ready. Uh, but, but I like to buy some restoration skill training before we take off and go back into combat. Because we're about to level up. Again. And to do this, this is going to require some money. So let's make some power potions to recover our money once we spend it. Uh, bear claws, canis root. How about some creep cluster? And uh, a little giant's toe. Some spider eggs. And some wheat. That's the start. Okay, now. Alchemy gear on. Okay, power potion, bear claws, canis root, and spider egg. Oh, 1400 bucks. Okay, let's make a bunch of those and creep cluster, giant's toe, and wheat. Make one of those. Now, something I just realized making Atronox staffs for money, for profit. Why not? If you got the ingredients, if you didn't have to buy the ingredients. And we have a void salts. We have a broom. We have an aura calcum ore. Or an ingot. And we have a greater soul gem. That's a quick eight hundred bucks right there. Let's go let's go down and crank out um, a staff of storm matronaut. Take the shortcut from the hollow countenance down to the astronaut forge. I never thought of this before. Really depends though on you know what components you have on hand. Let me just put on my combat here. I doubt very much that this ice wraith will have respawned, but just in case the game gets cheeky. Getting a cheeky game? Nope. Gonna behave? Atta boy. Here's a good game. Oh yeah, alright. Now offering box. Open it up. Plunk in the broom. A greater soul gem, an orc alchemy and some void salts. Dank on this sucker. Got yourself a staff of storm matronach that we could sell for 800 bucks. Stand down. Stand down, Zabrina. Had a girl. Okay, now with all this on board, let's put on our business necklace and go talk to our good friend Colette. Colette, I'd like to buy some restoration balance. training. I'll gladly share my knowledge with you. Five times, please. Okay, just waiting for all those drum rolls to roll. Take a look. And we can sell her 
we can sell her the old staff of Storm Matronach, which is half empty and it's the same price, and we get like a full new staff of Storm Matronach basically for free. So we sell her that and the potions. And she doesn't have quite enough to buy this potion. Uh, I want to buy some empty soul gems. Did I give her enough? Perfect. Oh, I want some commons too. Until Beautiful. Next time. And before I forget, let's swing it on around to restoration. I think I would like to get this one here. Magica recovery. Magic, blah, blah, blah. Magica regenerates 25% faster. Perfect for a mage. And I think I would like to get this one too. Respite. Healing spells also restore stamina. That's very useful for a lot of running around. Okay, that's good. Next, uh, restore magical potions. We don't have any more elves ear, but we do have Cree cluster, and we have some red mountain flower. Beautiful five of each. As we're going into combat. Great. All right, now let's see what else, um, what everybody else has as far as empty soul gems. Let's do an inventory. Fifteen petty, we're good there. We are short on lessers. Could use a few more comms as well. So lessers and commons. Let's start with the men. Get a better price. You know. So, you wish to master the arcane arts? Lesser, common, that's all you got. Okay, and can we sell you a potion? Beautiful. Mm -hmm, How about time. your buddy Finnis? There are few. Take a look. Don't mind if I do. You got a common, and you got a lesser. Huh. Got a ton of petty. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna buy them anyways. Because, you know, we're gonna use them. And let's sell you a potion. Nope. Looks like it's one of these. Now, if you'll excuse me. Okay, Feralda. How about some lesser soul gems? For those with the talent Come on, lesser. No deal. Okay, but looks like we're gonna have to go with what we got. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, nine lesser. That'll have to do. Those are the ones I'm gonna be using most frequently too. Let's take these common in preparation for future. Uh... Can you afford to buy this? Yes, you can. Perfect. All right. Next time. That is that. Till next time. All right. Combat gear on. We're going to leave Belrand here for now. Uh, let me just check my active effects here. Should have the Lord Stone. That's great. And why don't we take off to Solitude and hook up the Shrine of Julianos to give us some extra magicka. That's way across there. You know what? Let's go to Sarthal first. Like I said, we have alteration up to 90. And now we can do a special quest known as the Rituation, Ritual Alteration Quest. Which you can start with Tolthir once your alteration reaches 90. So, let's go to Sarthal first. And there's a little unfinished business there with a Boethia cultist. So we can pick up that stuff. Any hostiles here? Looks pretty clear. 
Oops, I forgot to get this. <laughs> I was just talking about it. Okay, let's try this again. Fast travel back. Right down here, yeah. The last time there was a brouhaha here. One of these guys was a Bohethian cult. Boeth Boethia cultist. Let's grab his stuff. Read his book. Start a quest. Table that for a later date. And sell his stuff to Cult Deer. Okay, now, to start this ritual alteration quest, you'll get a new option once your alteration reaches 90, and it's this one here. Is there anything more I can learn about alteration magic? At this very moment? No. However, well, I've been working on something, an improvement on the ebony flesh spell. Oh boy, oh boy. I've made progress, okay. but then hit a snag. Uh -huh. I think perhaps you could help. Okay. How can I help? I need you to collect some dragon scales. Dragon scales, okay. And not just any dragon scales. As I've said, I made some progress using the essence of dragon scales, but they're just not quite potent enough. My knowledge of Skyrim's history is far from complete, but I did some research and discovered two things. First, there are ancient references to dragon heart scales. What little I could learn suggests they may be what I need. Second, there are stories of a dagger called Calvazine's Fang. Calvazine's Fang. sharp enough to carve individual scales off a dragon. First, you'll need to retrieve the dagger, then use it to carve a few scales off a dragon. Presumably a deceased one. <laughs> yeah, preferably. Okay, so I will return shortly with the dragon scales. That would be wonderful. I'll be sure and have everything ready. This is exciting, isn't it? It's exciting. Oh boy. Ah. <laughs> All right, now. Not much, I'm afraid. It was named Cavazine's Fang after the dragon worshipped by this particular sect of the cult. It's always encouraging to see the, the college. Okay, I hit the wrong one there. No matter what, we always look after. Take a look. Here we go. And do I have my Until business me. necklace on? No, I do not. Okay. Education is never appreciated. Spells and incantations. For okay, let's just offload this castle. junk here. Don't need this. All that can go. And the book. There we go. Combat gear back on. Carry weight respectable. Looks a little heavy, but uh, you know, I think that's it's okay. I wonder if you can afford one of these uh, potions. Uh, have you by chance seen my research notes? I seem to have misplaced them. Uh huh. Okay. Spells and incantations for the. No, I don't think you can afford castle. anything. Oh wait a minute! Here we go. Beautiful. Until okay, now. Let's go hit up. Oh, first of all, you probably want to know where this quest takes place, right? Okay, here we go. Alteration ritual spell. We have to retrieve the dagger. It's one of six random places, so unfortunately this, this won't be very walk through but if you happen to get the same location as I do, which is bound to be Valthum. Valthum, that's what I was getting in practice rounds. I doubt it's going to be different. Mr. Map, where is Valthum? It is right here. East of Arkingthams, which is southeast of Markarth. Okay, the easiest way to get there is to fast travel to Jukar's Monument and then work our way down here. And this is perfect too because there's this other cave system called Gloom Reach, which has more glowing mushroom in it as well as a whole bunch of other ingredients. And as you recall, glowing mushrooms can be used to make fortified destruction potions. So yeah, that's a perfect place to stop on the way to this guy here. And now, let's go to solitude and yeah, make the run up to the temple of divines heard they're reforming the dawn guard 
vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Richter. Blessings of the Eight Divines upon you. How may I help? Just came in to grab a little bit of Julianos, and this should give us a whopping 374 in Magicka to play around with. Okay. So if we can't get the job done with that. <laughs> you look troubled. We're in deep doo doo. Okay, so this is it. Fast travel out to Jukar's Monument, and let's get back on the war. Alright, first thing I want to do is get some light on the scene here. 8 o'clock in the morning should be perfect, and it's a nice, bright, sunny day. Wonderful. Okay. We're leaving you here, Frost, okay? Just hang tough. Munch on some grass. And what do we get this time? This is a random shield. One time I got a... What did I get? An ebony shield or something. It's worth like a bazillion dollars. It's completely random. Okay, let me just click these... Uh, should be some huh, these lavender didn't respond for some reason. Okay. Alright. We are going that way over the mountain. Get the shields up. First thing we're bound to run into is wolves. Or a couple of Imperials escorting a prisoner. Yeah. Raise a little hell, raise a little hell, raise a little hell. No, no, I don't think so. They're a little above our pay grade. There's something up there, though. Oh my gosh! Boy, just in time. That was close, he got me, anyways. Got him. Haha. Uh -huh. Close, but no cigar. Ah. Oh. Okay. Note to self. That's a random predator location. It's not always wolves. There's an. I see another saber cat over there. The place is rife with pussy. He said, pussy. Yeah, <laughs> pussy. <laughs> okay, here we go. Charge me so I can hit you with this. Come on, charge. Here we go. Cooking him up here, boss. All right. Okay, I just want to get my magic back here. Okay. There we go. Paralyzed spell up and ready to go. And this is exactly where we want to go. This will take us down to the river. And yep, there just as I thought. Another saber cat. Come on, cat, walk this way. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay, we're now in Juniper Berry Country. These are also perfect for a mage. There's a power potion I make frequently that is also a combat potion. Garlic, Juniper Berries, and Salt Pile. Makes a Restore Magicka and Restore... A combination of Restore Magicka Restore health potion. Perfect for a mage. 
perfect for a pure mage. So henceforth I'm going to be using those as combat potions instead of uh, power potions. Shield wore off. Oh my gosh! You are so dead, Wolf. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I can one shot you, Uppers. Uppers. <clears throat> That sounds so lame. Ever since that YouTube ad boycott, and then it's like they they started like you know having really stringent policies here on YouTube and swearing would get your video demonetized. But that that's mostly blown over now. I notice. And besides, their their policy is you are allowed to swear once in a blue moon. You know, it's just not like heavy swearing. Okay, so there is Gloomreach right there. Just cross river. That's exactly where we want to go. That's where we can pick up a whole bunch of um, glowing mushroom. And we can. There's a whole bunch of Falmer and choruses in there. It's just deep and dangerous cave system. Trap a lot of souls in there. Here we go, Gloom Reach. And this is coming up next video. <laughs> hey, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. See you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.